Gary, is there a way to train somebody to become a good listener if they're not naturally a good listener? What would you do? Yeah, that's, that's got a lot of emotional intelligence, how to, how to be more sensitive right on those issues. Um, yes, it can be done. It's difficult, but it can be done. Mm. Right. I, I want to make a point. I see as this group talking. I was asked to, to speak in Paris in a national group on what did we learn over the last hundred years on selecting and recruiting salespeople. And, you know, what we did learn is that most managers are good at hiring good people. And so it's, and, and really the result of that hundred years, we've learned one thing. It's not who you hire as much that makes a difference. It's what you do with people after you hire. Mm. And really it's, it's what we do. So all these questions we're asking is it can, yes. But some, you know, a lot of sales organizations will ask on this. Should I set a goal on the rep being more empathetic? And I, I have to chuckle because really what you set a goal on is help them be better at value propositions, help them be better mm. at other things. Usually the, the, it's kind of a symptom if they're not as empathetic and that they're really not able to deliver on an activity or a skill set. So I, I generally try to strike at the root cause. Uh, maybe it's not the listing. Maybe they don't have the ability to develop a, a proposal or value proposition in the right way. And, but um, all people are, are less. If never shown that a person more empathetic or less empathetic is more successful, you just have to have a sufficient level. Is that interesting? Make- Very interesting. Um, to what you were saying, um, we've consulted with tons of companies on why there's a turnover problem. And a lot of times they feel that it's because they don't know how to make a good choice during the interview process. And so they bring in a lot of training on interviewing and testing and all of this stuff. And we feel that Turnover is mainly because you didn't have good people to choose from, so you'll always end up making a compromised decision, and then you didn't equip them for success. The easiest thing to get good at is making a good choice. But if you don't have good people and you don't equip them, you'll always have turnover. I'd love to comment first on the listening, what Gary said, something that people could remember. We, when we coach managers about listening, we say there's three levels of listening. One of them, level one, if you're listening to somebody and you know the voice in your head is really going after the next question you're going to ask them, you're not really listening. You're not connecting. And people can feel it. If you listen at level two, that you're just, you calm down your brain and you're just totally focused on them, they feel heard. And there'll be such a difference in that connection and that relationship. So it's something that everybody who's listening can practice. We, we, we teach this a lot to managers and then they say, boy, it's made my personal relationships much better at home too. Um, <laughs> get that one of our, things, ah, that hit home, okay. <laughs> one of our so, sales reps started doing yoga um, because he felt that when he was on a call, his, his uh, emotions were kicking in and he was always like trying to, not, he, was, he was too deliberate. And he started doing yoga and he got good at breathing. And so every time he'd feel that anxiety, he'd just take a deep breath. And you saw such a shift in his numbers. It was fascinating. Yes. Mindfulness is a great tool. Yes. To get us a little bit more centered. 